Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be um, discussing our last discussion for variation. I mean for the kind of variation which is joint and combined variation. Okay, and let me just say this to you. Joint and combined variation for me is just a fancy way of um, solving a combination of the direct and inverse variation okay again it's just a fancy variation a fancy way of saying the combination of these two and it's actually quite confusing because when we talk about the concept of joint variation let me just write it down here joint variation joint variation is just simply combination of multiple direct variation again joint variation is just simply the combination of multiple direct variation whereas in our combined va combined variation combined variation is just simply the combination of inverse and direct variation pinagsama lang so if i will say to you guys um say we have number one okay x varies jointly as a and b then we can just simply write it down as x is equals to k a b it's that simple multiple direct variation because in this given we can just cl clearly say that x is equals to k a and x is equals to k b two variations two direct variation it va x varies jointly as a and it varies jointly uh, x varies directly as a and x varies directly as b so it would just simply be the combination of these two okay x is equals to k a b and i will not expound on this one because it's actually for me i, I find it a little bit uh, it would be more confusing for you guys okay and then the next one would be the combined variation being the combination of the inverse and direct so i can say that uh, the thing about combined is we are not saying that they are uh, vi varies combinedly there's no such thing so we say it as x varies inversely with a and directly with directly with b so we if we have this given then we can just clearly say that x is equals to k inversely with a so a would be on the denominator and directly with b meaning b would be here so the key f the key thing here is you would simply write everything after the varies inversely which is of course a on the denominator and everything after directly which is of course our b would be on the numerator Okay, and that would be, this would be the important part, okay, the important concept on our topic, joint and combined variation, okay. Let's disregard the term jointly. For me, this is a little bit confusing. We'll only use jointly for multiple, but, um, yeah. On this case, again, everything after inversely would be on the denominator, and everything after the directly would be on the numerator. So, let's, let's establish that fact. We are just combining inverse and direct variation. Okay? So, firstly, let's go to translation. Okay? Translation, of course, will just simply demand us to um, create our formula equation. Okay? So, let's have our very first example. Say we have... Uh, we are just rewriting, guys. Uh, we are rewriting. So, x varies inversely. Or maybe uh, directly varies directly with a and inversely with um the square of y and so again everything after let's let's uh, circle our variables first okay so uh, our variables would be x, we have with a, and then in we have the square of y, okay? So x, of course, would just simply be x. 
and a would just simply be a and square of square of y would be y squared so let's write our con um formula equation now x varies directly with a so again if it is after the, the word directly then it would be on the numerator so k is equals to a k is always on the numerator by the way and then everything after the inversely which is of course this one would be on the denominator being square of y it's that easy translation is this easy okay, it's just like of course um um the topic in grade 7 being um translating uh, mathematical statements into i mean uh, word word statements into mathematical equations or expressions okay so let's have another one it's very easy lang naman okay um something difficult let me come come up with something difficult um say why varies um, directly as the square of x and inversely and inversely as j okay so we have this given so what do we need to do we just simply need to write our um write our formula equation y varies Okay, directly as the square of x and the square of x would be x squared over kasi why is it over kasi we have the inversely immediately okay immediately um inversely as z so z is just simply z and there you go you're done with your translation okay again the important thing when it comes to translation is you need to identify your variables our variables is y the square of x sorry i did not include that the square of x and then we have say so you know your variables now therefore what you need to do now just is simply know where to place them everything after directly would be on the denom uh, numerator sorry and everything after inversely would be on the denominator know where to place them okay so let's have another example Okay, um, let's use, let's have a use of the joint system, okay? Y varies jointly as or with X and Z and inversely with A and B. So, again, in jointly, I did tell you guys that everything after jointly is just like direct variation. So, this would be on the numerator. And everything after inversely would be on the denominator. And uh, let's identify the variables. We have the variables x and z. No operation. Why? Kasi wala namang binigay. So, you will not add x and z. And also, we have a and p. So, you know the variables. Know where to place them. So you will have y is equals to k. On the numerator, we have x and z. And on the denominator, we have a and b. Bam! That's easy. Okay? And let's have our um, last example. Let's have our last example. Okay? For this case. So let's have y varies um, jointly as the cube root. of x and the square of um, z and inversely with um let's have a uh, say inversely with half uh, twice let's see let, instead of using half let's use twice twice of a yeah we have twice of a so again writing this down know your know where to place your variable so let's identify the variables cube root of x and square of z and we have twice of a where do we place this two 
on the numerator because it's jointly. And where do we place this twice of a inversely then therefore on the denominator? So y is equals to k always on the numerator cube root of x cube root of x and the square of z. So let me put z before the cube root. z square and cube root of x. So why did I place the z squared before? Kasi radicals are always placed at the end. Okay? If there are other variables beside them. Over twice of a, which is 2a. 2a. Twice of a. 2 times a. Okay? Because that is the meaning of twice. Okay? So that would be our um, translation. And this would be the hard one already. Uh, not hard, the difficult one or confusing one. Okay, this is our, our last example. Okay, so if you would have any other questions, you can view the video again for the translation part. And of course, you can ask me in our class or our group chat. Um, thank you again everyone for listening and Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.